Good afternoon and welcome to another daily devotion. I'm Reverend Parker here at Community Baptist Church in Santa Rosa, California. Thanking you again for joining us again. Yes, Lord, another word from God. Help us along our way this day. Amen. And so we're going to get right to the lesson as we come from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. I know where it's at in the New Testament. There we go. Sorry. That's chapter 9. Verse 7. There it is. And it's called, Will You Wish You Had Given More? And the verse today we're going to read chapter um, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 7 says, my Lord, every man according as he purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. And let us read together. The movie Schindler's List tells the story of one man's effort to make the most of a desperate situation. As the director of a munition factory in Poland, Oscar Schindler decided to use his position to save Jews' lives by employing them in his factory. Schindler rescued many condemned Jews from the gas chamber, but keeping them employed was constant. And little by little, he liquidated his personal property to keep his business afloat. At the end of the story, the Nazis are defeated and the full impact of Schindler's effort to rebuild as the dead are counted and the living staggered back to freedom. In one scene kneeling by the railroad tracks that had carried thousands of their dead to their, their death, Schindler had a startling revelation, realization. Excuse me. He could have saved few, a few more, overwhelmed with regret, he laminate is keeping the few personal assets he still owned. If only he had known the war would end, he would have done more. Now it was too late. Oscar Schindler was a hero. He is credited with saving more Jews during the World War II than any other single person. But interestingly, all he could th think about was what he didn't do, he wished he had done more. A powerful lesson in Schindler's list, or Schindler's story is this. Even joyful givers will look back on their lives and wish they had done more. There are also others who gave less than they could have given or never gave at all. Can you imagine their thoughts as they stand before God Given an account of how they use their resources and to be rewarded accordingly. God loves a cheerful giver. So today, look for the opportunity to give. Amen. And so that's our lesson for today is that we need to do our best in giving and that God sees all things. And we all will have to stand before God and give an account of what we've done. And so do your best, give what you can, and uh, know that God is with you. God loves a cheerful giver. I'm Reverend Parker said, thank you again for joining us for this day.